Hello, everybody. I hope that you are having a great day. I'm super excited to bring an amazing person, a graphic designer today who is running her own business, and we're super excited. Hello, Ruby. Hi, Roxanne. Nice to have you uh, in our studio today. Thank you for having me. Yes, of course. So Ruby is a graphic designer and she is a freelancer and she has some amazing work that she's going to share with us. So I'm going to turn it over to Ruby and, and uh, Ruby, tell us more about Ruby, Ruby and her business. Yeah, so I'm a graphic designer and as a freelancer, I work with a variety of clients um, and my specialty is branding and marketing. Um, so that kind of covers everything from logo design, uh, brand guidelines and sort of like visual identity, um, social media content, advertisements, um, both print and digital. And I do a variety of print design as well. So that could be like packaging, um, any sort of like marketing materials. I do greeting cards uh, really all over the place. And I've worked with lots of different types of companies, consumer brands, uh, nonprofits, tech companies, food companies, you name it. Excellent. So tell us the, how you got into the business. Yeah, that's a good question. Um, accidentally, um, I never, you know, intended to be a designer. I was actually studying biology um, when I got a job as an office manager. Um, and I had taught myself how to use Photoshop back in like 2007 or 2008. I've always been an artsy person. I did like drawing, painting, art collages with Photoshop and um, during my job interview for this position that I got, I mentioned that I knew how to use Photoshop and they remembered that um, because, you know, maybe three months into my tenure there, our designer quit. We didn't have anybody. And they came to me and they said, hey, Ruby, you know how to do this stuff, right? And I was like, absolutely. Yes, of course. Give it to me. And I had no idea. Um, but I was really motivated to figure it out. And so, you know, I went to YouTube University. Um, I managed to complete the project that they wanted me to do. And I did a pretty good job because they kept asking me to do more and more things. And the more that I did it, the more that I found I had kind of like a knack for it and a passion for it. And then it was just a matter of putting in like double, triple time to read books and take online courses and teach myself everything I possibly could. And it's kind of funny because I remember when I was in high school and I was getting ready to go to college, I wanted to study biology. And I told my mom that, and she said, that is a waste. She said, anyone can be a scientist. All you have to do is read the books. But if you choose to be a scientist, you're wasting a creative mind. And at the time I was like, whatever mom, but she was right. So here I am. Oh, that's a, that's a great story. So how long have you been uh, a, a graphic designer? For four years now. Wow, that's a that's a good amount of time. Yeah, yeah. I just like as soon as I started doing it, I realized that I loved it. And yeah, now there's nothing else I'd rather do. So pretty happy with how that ended up. That is amazing. So so now you are working, uh, working for yourself and by yourself right that's right yeah so i have a a few different clients um some of those are like individuals uh running their own businesses coming out with their own products um i'm working with like a an e-learning education company right now to produce course content for them i'm also working with a branding agency um so that's like a lot of different clients a lot of different projects so as a freelancer, it's kind of up to me to balance all of those and manage my time and um, get it all done. That is amazing. So I am going to uh, show your website to our audience. And if you can walk us through a little bit about what uh, we can learn on your website. Sure. All right. So let's... Uh... Let's share your website and uh, let me see. 
Um, I love the colors that you have on here. And, uh, and so you tell, you told us a little bit about, uh, Ruby. I love this picture. Thank you. And, um, so, uh, let me see if I can. I think the brand guidelines are, are a good place to start on, on common law. On common law. Okay. Yeah. So right. yeah, click on the brand guidelines. Um, yeah, so this is just an example of uh, like a visual identity and branding project that I did for a client. This client is a nonprofit um, and kind of the challenge that I was trying to solve for them is they were creating all of their own designs themselves using free design tools like Canva. Um, but since they didn't have a designer on staff, there was a lot of inconsistency and things just were all over the place and not looking good. So. My job was to get in there to start with an audit of everything they had um, and come up with a framework so that they would be able to have all the tools they needed to really define their brand and move forward and create designs themselves that still looked really cohesive and really nice. So that was the main challenge here is, you know, narrowing down the colors, narrowing down the fonts, providing them with some brand elements that they could reuse and recycle um, ways to treat their photography and then putting it all together in this document that they could use internally and refer back to whenever they needed to um, create new assets. So when I started working with them, they didn't have like any defined color palette, any defined fonts. So this is sort of me figuring all that out and wrapping it up with a really nice bow and handing it over and um, yeah, this worked out really well for them. I actually like I follow them on Instagram and I get their emails and they're still using all the materials I created for them. And they've really been able to maintain that design system even, you know, long after our contract ended. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So so right now you're working on um, uh, you're working basically uh, project by project and, and you set everything up, uh, set people on the right course and then they take it from there. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's definitely some of the work I do is like that. Some of the work I do is like retainer work for um, people who don't need to have a full time designer, but they need someone when they need like a set of ads or something, you know, they'll reach out to me and I'll create those on like a contract basis. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I saw something that was really fun on your website. Um, and, uh, and uh, I like I like these a lot. So can you tell us more about what these are? Yeah, so these are some icons that I've made. Um, some of them, like the fish you see at the top, those were just for fun. Um, but some of them are made for like actual clients and actual companies. Um, all of these icons are, you know, created and designed by me from scratch. Um, and kind of my favorite thing about doing icons is that the challenges that you have to represent uh, a concept in a very, very small space, um, let's say 100 pixels by 100 pixels, I have to be able to communicate a full idea. And one of the principles of icon design is that if you need supporting text um, or anything to tell people what your icon is, you've done a bad job. So they really need to be able to stand alone to communicate that meaning and like add something to whatever you're trying to say. Those dinosaurs at the bottom were just for fun too. Love it. Those those would be really cool for some children's books. Yeah, yeah. I've done, if you go to my um, illustrations and print page, I've done some of those sort of um, children's illustrations. I actually sold these as prints for like nurseries and things like that. So. There's a little arrow there if you click on the, yeah. Oh, so these are just a few like fun animals I did. I also, I do a lot of greeting cards too. So tell us about greeting cards. How do they work and how do the, how do people, um, how, how do people order them? How does that work? Yeah, so this set of greeting cards that you're looking at, I actually, I did that for um, a real estate client. Um, these were cards that they could, you know, send out to, to their clients. Um, and it was for a company called Addressable that does um, handwritten 
cards by a robot. So they use a robot to do handwriting in a card. So you can do a lot of them, but they all look like real human handwriting. So it's a very like personalized thing. Um, and this was just like a set of cards I gave to them that they could select for their clients, have the robot write, write a message and, and send it out for that really like high touch experience. Um, so those are something I've done on like a project basis. Um, right now I'm working on some e-greeting cards, like virtual greeting cards. So what about, um, what about uh, like, you know, like wedding um, invitations or, um, you know, things like that? Have yeah, you absolutely. That, that first one um, that you see there was a save the date that I did for a wedding. Um, I love doing that stuff. Yeah, you can make it bigger, I think, if you click on it. Ah, very nice. Yeah. So that was a, a design for a wedding. And, you know, I have my own wedding coming up. I'm going to be doing all the design for that invitations, save the dates, seating charts, like you, you name it. So I love doing that stuff. There's something really satisfying about designing something that you can then like hold in your hand and like physically see. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, that's why I, I love print design. That is really, really cool. And, uh, and more, more here. Yeah, it's definitely, I also love print design because it's so technical. It's really important. Oh, that was a textile design that I actually did. I got printed on fabric. All wow. of those tools are like hand drawn. This is cool too. Thank you. That was for like a, a radio show, like a podcast radio show. Some Very labels, cool. packaging. So th this actually is really interesting because it, it shows the variety of, of your work in terms of, in terms of how you can have your design uh, be available on so many different uh, types of products. Yeah, definitely. I would consider myself to be pretty versatile. Like I can, I can work within a prompt um, or I can, you know, work within my own style, which you can kind of see over my website. Like I'm really drawn to bright colors. I, I love imagery of like plants and animals. And so I bring that into a lot of the designs where I have like creative freedom. Um, but I'm also, you know, part of being a designer is working within a brand, working within brand guidelines. Um, you don't always have the freedom to set those up yourself. Sometimes you're handed something and these are the colors you use and these are the fonts you use. So that's like another type of skill is being able to take those parameters and do something that's really creative with them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Very cool. Okay, is there another section in your website that we should uh, we should visit? Um, if you look at Fieldwire, you can see a few examples of like the social media um, content that I've done right at the top. Uh -huh. So you can make that bigger, I think, to click on it. Yeah, so part of part of this project was not only um, designing the posts, but also creating the content, writing the content, and managing the page itself. So I also do some social media things. And if you'll click on the slideshow, there's just like a few examples, including like animated ads, that kind of thing. Nice. This is an example of like a sponsored post you'd see on Instagram. Right. OK. You can go to the next one. A little like infographics, just things that are like, you know, really easy to share. Right. Very cool. Yeah. So, so you basically, basically can create these to uh, promote other businesses and create a, a, awareness for them. Yeah, exactly. And I do have some, some experience with like the, the strategy side of things. So not just making it look good, but figuring out how this all fits into the storytelling of your brand and the voice and tone that you're trying to create and you know exactly what you're trying to get people to do. Every project I do is with a specific goal in mind, whether that's to get someone to sign up for an event, get someone to click on a link, um, tell someone how to do something, share some sort of information. 
So it's kind of fun to think about it that way as, as like problem solving, but through shape and color and typography and all the things that make something beautiful. How do you come across uh, your customer base? Um, a lot of it is just like networking. Um, I know that's like a silly answer, but I found um, a lot of clients on LinkedIn. Um, I have found a lot of clients through like people who I've worked with in the past um, who then, you know, have another project come up and they think of me or they have a friend with a project come up and they think of me. Um, people will like reach out to me if they see something on my portfolio that they like in particular and they want something like that. Um, so it's kind of like a combination of luck and networking and hustle. <laughs> hustle, right? Yeah. And no matter what, what field you're in, if you are, uh, if you are um, an entrepreneur, you're always hustling. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, well, these are these are amazing, and you are certainly a, a very creative and uh, and a breath of fresh air with with everything that you're producing. So thank you for uh, for joining us and for sharing your knowledge and your creativity with us. Uh, th these are really cool. Uh, I like that you have a male and a female version of yeah of that was a little redesign that i did the original logo is the one you see on the left and i was think i had the idea i said you know it needs a refresh it needs like at least a second version we have to be inclusive of all the wonderful women who work in construction so we came out with this one um and a lot of people really liked it because there are, are women who are using that construction product and it's nice to see them like reflected in the branding as well. Yes. Yes. Great. Uh, great idea. Great mind. Thank you. All right. Very good. Well, um, any final thoughts for our clients? Um, yeah, so I am available. I work on everything. If you have a project and you you need some eyes on it, you need some ideas, you have an idea and you don't know how to make it happen, um, please reach out to me. I love working on lots of different things. And yeah. All right. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for joining us today and, and sharing your knowledge and your wonderful work with us. And audience, if you are trying to get a hold of uh, Ruby, there is uh, Ruby's phone number. There is Ruby's website. There is Ruby's email. So you have multiple chances of getting in touch with Ruby. And uh, and this is uh, this is who Ruby is, and this is what she does. And if you are trying to uh, get a hold of uh, get a hold of me, here is my phone number. And here is my email address and, uh, and here's my Instagram handle. So uh, thank you again for joining us today and, uh, and hope to see you at another version of our show. Have a All great right. day. Thanks so much, Roxanne. Thank you.